Hi guys, my name is Jewel from JTEC Digital. I'm a product support engineer, and today we will be doing a review of our 4K 60 Hertz audio extractor, JTD350. Our JTD audio extractor allows you to extract audio from your HDMI source while sending the video signal to your TV, extracting the audio from the RCA that can be sent to set of speakers, and then also you can send it through the optical output through your sound system. We have our audio extractor, power adapter, and product manual. So now let's talk about our application and connection. First thing to connect to the extractor is your power. Then the next thing you can connect is your source, which right now we're using the Apple TV. So we have an HDMI cable connected to our Apple TV going to the HDMI in port of the extractor. Then we have an HDMI out of the extractor going into our display so we can see our content. So what we want to do is extract the audio from the extractor with a source of our Apple TV. And this can be done in two ways. The first way is through our analog RCA output. And right now we have our analog output going to our sound bar. And then the other way is through the optical output as well, which can also be sent to either your AV receiver or also a sound bar as well. So now that we have everything connected, let's see how it works. So we'll go ahead and play our video. So that connection was from our RCA output to our sound bar, and now we can test the optical output to the sound bar as well. Optical. And it works. The audio extractor also has an audio EDID switch. What this does is allow you to select two channel to get a two channel stereo analog signal a 5.1 surround sound or TV pass-through, which will pass through the highest format that your TV can support. So now let's talk about our second function, which is ARC or audio return channel. This allows you to connect your display always on the output of the extractor and send the audio from your TV or display through the optical output only. We often get questions as to why can't we send the ARC signal over analog? And the reason is because ARC only passes a digital audio format and an analog connection cannot support a digital audio format. One of our frequently asked questions is, can you send an ARC signal over the analog output? And the answer is no. The reason is ARC only passes a digital audio format and cannot be sent through an analog output. To make sure the ARC is enabled, First thing you want to do is connect your HDMI out from the extractor to the HDMI ARC port on your TV. Then you want to engage the ARC function by pressing the ARC button on the extractor. And the last thing to check is your audio out on your TV. Make sure it's set to HDMI out or ARC. Another frequently asked question is, does the JTD350 support HDR10? And it does. Sometimes what you might need to do is go into your source, whether that's a Roku, Apple TV, or a PlayStation 5, and select or enable the HDR format. Some troubleshooting steps you can go through in case, let's say, you're not getting five-channel audio through your optical output. One thing you can try is to make sure and check your source is set to a Dolby Digital format. That way, this would allow a 5.1-channel signal to pass through your source and output through the extractor. Another troubleshooting step you can go over is in case you need to pass a two-channel signal, you can make sure that the source or Apple TV is passing a stereo audio format to ensure that you get a two-channel signal on your analog output. That's it for our review of our audio extractor, JTD350. Thank you for watching our video. Please leave a comment and subscribe for more videos like this. Yeah. <laughs>